Hello guys, so we have a GeoGolf mobility scooter machine and uh, I will help you to narrow down the problem if you got no power. So display does not come in on with the ignition key and you're trying to push the remote start button. Same thing, no power. So first what you have to check is the main breaker switch, which is on the back of the machine. You already know that, but maybe you just forgot. So uh, here it is. So make sure that's in on on position. You will see it's gonna see, uh, say it's on and off, and uh, it's supposed to be on on. Well, in some really rare cases, it could be that it stays on on position, but actually internally the switch is faulty. But if you do have a basic multimeter, with the continuity test mode, most of them do, you can check if the power is getting to the switch from this side and if it's coming out from this side. So let's touch those two screws and we see that the breaker switch is passing power. Now, the second reason why the machine might not power, uh, power on, you have a loose wire on the top of the battery terminals. So let's get inside of the cabin and uh, check that. So all of your batteries, if you remember, they are under the seat. Unless somebody's been assembling batteries for you, wires for you, so you never touched that compartment before. So you will need to remove four screws. I already removed them to make this video shorter. And you will find the battery compartment. Now, for those people, who are installing uh, wires for the first time and trying to, uh, you know, uh, install batteries, uh, you can see the layout. So battery number one, bat uh, wire is negative to positive. Battery number two, negative to positive. Number num uh, battery number three, negative to positive number four. And this one, is connected also so main negative wire is on the middle right here and the main positive wire is on the corner I use this uh, foam uh, you know shipping blocks just to fill this gap it's actually good space for extra battery in the future you will just have to connect it parallelly to one of the other batteries not in series because all of those batteries are connected in series right now Anyway, the, the foam will uh, fill the gap and uh, will prevent batteries from shifting. Uh, by the way, the bracket that you see, it's not a green uh, paint, it's actually a rubberized, uh, uh, you know, bracket is rubberized to prevent from touching any of the terminals. But still, my advice, try to install battery that way so you will have some gap between the you know battery terminals and uh, the actual bracket so that's why you want to use those rubber boots to install them properly so the rubber uh, the bracket will not be touching no chance for that so anyway if you got no power check if there is no loose wires anywhere wiggle all of the wires make sure that they are not broken you can even remove each boot inspect it if there is no leakage from any of the batteries well then you got no problem in this area. Well, number three problem would be the fuse, main fuse, which is located in this compartment right here. For this, you will need to remove a couple screws. I already removed them. Again, to make this video shorter. So remove one, two, and two on the front. Then you will have four rubber blocks. Don't forget to install them back in place after you finish. You lift up this cover and you look for the fuse right here. Open the cap and check if the fuse is not blown. Just in case if the fuse is blown, you will need to replace it with a 25 amp and you have a spare one, one be right beside. They gave you extra, just in case. So that would be three things to check if you got no power on the display at all. Basically, you can elimin el eliminate the ignition switch itself because if the ignition would be faulty, let's say, you still would be able to start the machine with the remote fob by pushing 
this corner button twice and the display will come on so but if if the machine is not powering on with the key or with the fob you can you don't have to worry about the ignition switch it's not the problem it's either you have a blown fuse you have a problem with the loose wire or you have a problem with the main breaker switch this is it for now guys thank you